conversations about this and uh, it will meet parking to the one green space and whatever else is needed to move forward. So uh, I think we're just looking to see now which way the process should go. Um, and if uh, you had plans on when we could submit, there was a tentative date for November 20th um, to submit original plans or final plans, so at least dimensionals were outside. That's still a data. You know, I'm just curious, will it meet more than two to one or just right at two to one? Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be uh, close to five and best on the Give or take how many? I don't no know. Idea. I don't know yet. Just looking. I'm just curious. I, I think it will. If, the the 4,000, I believe, from the calculation that we originally had will meet it. I mean, it's not going to have an abundance of parking, but there will be a few spaces extra. Yes. You know, probably, I'm going to take a wild guess, somewhere between five. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Not yeah, not, not a whole lot, but it doesn't have to be a whole lot. It's only going to be no. two for one. No, exactly. if, even if you're on the money, just curious. you're on the money. Well, I think that, you know, in, in doing this, that we're going to meet the requirements for green space also, uh, which I think might have been in jeopardy from the last uh, and taking away some green space to make parking. So I think that all in all, I think the project should should work. Um, we should probably do that for them, right? Right. So, yeah, I think that's the, uh, David, do you have anything to say? No, I mean, if that's, uh, if, if you've met all the requirements, what else on the, the site plan approval checklist is outstanding that would, pause, you know, create a pause for you in, in um, boarding the project for approval? Well, we've already been through all the drainage for the larger size, so you know, certainly would want the peer reviewer to uh, sign off on the new drainage plan, uh, or just to confirm, you know, it just has to be one paragraph saying that there's no impact. I, you're not changing the parking to speak of, are you? So if the building gets smaller, the parking lot's going to naturally get bigger. Um, so yes, the parking lot's going to get changed. Why is the parking lot going to get larger? So if we're shrinking the building, and, and I'm right. assuming we're going to hold the east side of the building, so from the west exterior wall, it's going to shrink to the east direction. Oh, okay. Um, so so we got to gain parking to be co-compliant, so that's going to increase the size of the parking area. We want to check your numbers because we will. You're about four, you were about 4,000 square feet shy when you had a 12,000 square foot building. Understood. If you take 2,000 square feet away, yep. that's 4,000 square feet of parking you were shy. Correct. So the only reason you may want to redo a little bit there is, um, you know, there's not going to be a lot of, you certainly don't need to add 4,000 square feet of parking. Understood. Okay. I mean, yeah, a little green space, maybe a couple of spaces, but anything more than that, um, you know. I'm not sure. So it's a sort of a circular computation, but if you reduce the size of the building, you reduce the parking demand. So you don't have to add, I, I'm not sure why you're adding more parking. I mean, right. So um, if you put in a smaller building with the parking lot that you have, I suppose right. that would. Right. So we're trying, to make, we're trying to maintain an orientation that we currently have with the, the, the van drop off and so on, and that front area of the building that once was a patio is no longer going to be a patio so the idea is to maintain some dimension where it doesn't look out of uh, orientation in terms of being this uh, abundance of green space so it's not considered patio and not considered then part of the interior square footage so we got to look at the site design once we reduce the size of the building shell and then with that we're going to understand what happens to the the size of the parking lot layout and if that equates to adjustments to the stormwater drainage then we'll have to go through the peer review okay. to make sure everything's um, code compliant. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. You're the designer, we're not the designers. So we're not going to sit here and try to, you know, I'm not the designer either. You know, at this point, we're guessing, so we got to go through the process and see what happens. Okay. Um, I got a question. Yeah. Were you guys going to put snow? Were you going to uh, store snow for snow plowing in both of these projects? On the senior center side of things, I'm assuming that's not changing. I believe we showed on the north and south side. I don't anticipate that changing. North and south side? Correct. How much of a buffer of grass do you have on the north side? It's only a few feet. 
Yeah, I want to say it's five to eight feet. And I do recall um, Marlo actually participating in this conversation, talking about potential snow removal in, in the event of, of a lot of snowfall. I'll tell you, in the history of this town, there's not one municipal building that they ever hauled snow out. This is a shame. The way this thing was done, and the taxpayer is going to pay to haul snow away. We're not going to have to haul, haul snow away now that we'll be able to have the green space there uh, that we'll be able to use for. Are you going to be able snow. to show that on the map somewhere? Yeah, we're going to. We'll look at that. Yes. Okay. The memorandum of understanding you had with the agent. Mm -hmm. Where are their parking spots? Well, they're going to be able to use what's available at the senior center that was in the MOU we didn't say there were many? Gonna, we didn't say there was going to be added space we just said that they were going to be able to use the senior center parking lot um, when they have a, a funeral or something of that nature so or an afternoon function and tell another agency or group they can use parking spots that are designated for the senior center or the library. How can you do that? We did it. I know, but how can you do that? We did it. Then you're going to show the extra parking. No, you don't have to show the extra parking because it, it's not going to be an everyday occurrence. It's not going to be every day. It's going to be on occasion. It's going to be after hours. How do you know? There's not an issue with yeah. the Legion right now, Later. John, and stop bringing it up. I won't. Don't tell me I what. I will. Don't you dare tell me. Hey, 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 hey. Not not yeah, that's, that's, the, that's enough. The application enough. before us is the application of the Correct. senior center and the library, and that's what we're going to vote on. That's right. Don't let her tell me what the hell I want to ask over here. Yeah, so, right to ask what I want to ask. So, Within reason. questions? Yes. Um, so just going, going back to that, um, so again, the decision's been made, reduced size building. Um, Bill was just saying that the drainage doesn't really need to be reviewed again. But again, in the spirit of not getting to November 20th and, and okay. having- Okay, yeah, let me clarify. I, I yeah. do want it reviewed again because there are going to be changes made, but I, I want the peer reviewer to confirm that the changes haven't affected the conclusion. Yes, yeah, so um, what I was going to ask is, so since we don't we don't want to go astray right we want to make sure that we're we're all heading for the goal of getting an approval on november 20th so what would what behaviors would you like between now and then should it, as the soon OPMs as be you get some drawings given to us to look at and us being to you the planning board yeah you don't have to present them you can email them to us we can distribute them and then we can review it at the next meeting mm -hmm. okay um or bring them in at a regular meeting we'll take we'll we'll bring them home and take a look at them whatever the case may be but if you wait until november 20th to give us drawings you're probably right you won't get approved mm -hmm. you know because i'm sure you're going to have the drawings done i mean that's two months away you've got to have the drawings done within well before two months well, where's the library with our plans nothing's changed on the library's end Essentially, it's the, the same plans, plan. Your plans are complete. We're, no, we're moving forward with design development on the mostly the interiors of the building and the mechanical well, systems. The yeah. Yeah. End of the year. When? End of this year. End of this year. Jim, so I, uh, John, I sent around. I only made one copy of it because it wasn't printing out well in color. Um, my, um, but the uh, Allison did send us. The library's construction timeline updated as of today, and uh, there's also a spreadsheet, but I I just couldn't print it all for some reason. Okay. So. Um, what is your target date for for construction? Groundbreaking. Yeah. The the plans will be done at the end of this year, so the the building wants to go out to bid the first of next year, <laughs> you know, January February, and then start construction when the weather permits. When, when is your so-called drop dead date of the state for the grant? You'll, you'll see it in that if, if it's January 20th, 2020, right? It, yes. Okay, 2020. The issue with the library is that if it's 
tied to the completion of the senior center, then these dates that are in front of you would, uh, they have grant implications. Uh, if we have to wait for them, for that project to be done and then the hooker school to be, the senior center to move into the new building before this building comes down, uh, then we're essentially gonna lose a construction season. Okay. So what does groundbreaking mean to the state? Shovel on the ground. Taking this building down or starting, this is down and you start construction on it? Once, once the bids are received and contracts are awarded, that, that this is, is a little gray spirit, but that's essentially. That's essentially, that's essentially the, the, the start date, right? right. What a contract is awarded. Right. Okay. Is that what the state said to you? So the more important things are actually the okay. milestones that are on there. So we have to meet certain milestones. And milestone four is that the library is complete and open to the public. So that has to happen by June 2021. So the reason they say the drop dead for beginning construction is January 2020 is there because they're giving you that long to construct your library. They're figuring that on the outside will be how long it will take. So, so the real drop dead it. date is the occupancy of the library, not the spoon, not the shovel to the ground. Correct. We have multiple drop mm -hmm. dead dates, which are the lines that are uh, the vertical lines in blue, those are all of our drop dead milestones that we must make to continue to receive grant funding. So we've already made milestone one, which was uh, uh, the town uh, provided matching funds, okay. we got approval from town meeting, etc. So our next milestone, which unfortunately is on the fold, uh, we need the final construct construction documents to the MBLC. We don't think that we have any problems meeting that milestone at all. We should be done by the end of December, as Mark mentioned. Milestone three uh, is when the bid is accepted um, and we have a, con uh, a contract with the general contractor. Right now, with the current timeline, with us going out after the senior center is fully built and occupied, we have a nine week buffer to make sure that we meet that milestone. And then once we begin construction, after the seniors have been relocated to their new building, we'll begin construction. And if all goes as planned, we will have a three week buffer before we're in danger of not meeting milestone four. This, uh, Jim. Jim. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, before we get off the, uh, the timeline in our vote, uh, when you do present the the final drawings, get the expedited uh, peer review. I mean, yes. certainly what we're looking for is, as Bill was indicating, a paragraph. Yes. Would not change rate. That's all we're looking for. Yes. Jim is the only engineer, but they they can take a look, yes. quick look at it. And the other thing is, as far as the timeline, I mean, drawing upon some of the the medical experiences when there was a certificate of need required, like at the UMass Infirmary or Cooley uh, Dickinson Hospital putting the MRI in, they did give leeway when there was a drop dead date. In fact, the joke was you could drive a bulldozer back and forth across the ground and that was the beginning of construction. But uh, I, I don't think it's gonna be a hard and fast drop dead date. So you're, you're thinking this break here is 59 weeks is you'll have all your plans done. Correct. You will have actually technically met your second milestone. Correct. But you're just going to be sitting waiting for the senior center, for this senior center to be built and this building to be demolished. Well, we would wait uh, to uh, about eight weeks prior to that we, you know, we'd be monitoring the progress because then we'd need to go out to bid. But there's no point in going out to bid over a, a year before you would actually begin construction. So uh, you can see that sort of a lighter red color, that's our going out to bid process. Um, so right now we have that beginning in uh, March 2020. So we'd have eight weeks to go out to bid. Um, you know, for the whole bidding process, and then we begin after that. So that gives enough time, enough leeway for the completion of the new senior center and um, everyone to be located, relocated into that building. Um, and so then there is no, no, no break there. We consulted with our architect about when was the best time for us to take the break 
in terms of uh, the work that we're doing, his work, uh, Mark's work as OPM, and this was seen as the best time in our process to take the break. So, Jim, yes. um, one thing that and we may want to talk about also is the accelerated timeline or the earlier timeline as potential because by waiting the year that the library is talking about, we are, the, the cost of construction is going up on a daily basis and there's calculations that have been done that it could cost as much as, what, $400,000 by waiting this extra year. So the library on a fast track or a, a quicker track, assuming that the senior center happens to get their, their permit, can go forward, the library would be looking at starting this February, doing the demolition and getting started. It, it does mean dual construction, so there will be two construction sites happening at the same time. That has its own logistics problems, but in the long run, it's going to be cheaper than waiting another year for, for the library to start. And then it also eliminates that possibility of losing that milestone or reaching the, the milestones that we need to and losing the grant money. So, this is also uh, occurring in the background while we're discussing this, so um, we're all aware of this. So, and that's your second sheet. So, so the thing that's attached behind it, um, we were asked months ago, uh, you know, if this project were happening in a vacuum, what would your timeline look like without a break? And so we produced this. Um, you know, we produce this document, and it just, it, you know, it's an attempt to show where the overlay of the two construction um, timelines would be. Um, so really, what you see for the senior center is the same exact timeline. Again, we're assuming that uh, there's a go-ahead on November 20th. What we've really done is just shifted the library timeline in the second, the second page. So question on that alternate plan. Um, it seems that's really um, that's primarily a conversation that will be taking place between the, the respective building committees and the select board. Um, we have to bring, obviously, financing and all of that into account as well um, in terms of when we're drawing funds and the like. Um, is that, does your board have any, any interest relative to that once the site plans are approved? Are you kind of? Yep. We, once the site plans are approved, the construction and beyond is entirely up to the developer, nearby the two committees. The only thing we're concerned with is what are you, what's going to happen to all the committee, uh, the uh, boards that are in this building and all of our, you know, files, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. You, know, that's yeah. you guys got that figured out yet? We've been working on it, John. What is it? Um, not building anything committee has been looking at alternate sites. So we have been thinking about, we just need to go ahead once we know we can go ahead. Joyce is nodding her head, yes. Yes. David, what is yes David, mean? David, is Bill, it? and Christian, you've been working on a, mm -hmm. a plan for alternate spaces, so we do have uh, something that's feasible for when, when that happens. Can that be shared? Where? Yeah, sure. We're, I mean, we're looking at trying to get most committees that are in this building into town hall, so park and rec, uh, you folks we would have an office over there. We won't fit. Well, we have the, the plan uh, right now is to fit you in over there. We might need some other storage. We don't need storage because we have approximately 20 file cabinets and one file cabinet and vertical file that weighs about 800 pounds of all of our drawings. Yeah, Move, and moving is not going to be easy. <laughs> and uh, we need access to those for each meeting. We also have access to, um, we have a, just a verbal agreement, it hasn't been fleshed out with Most Holy Redeemer Parish Center. So there's space available over there as well. And that would be mainly where the Council on Aging would go, possibly having media would go there as well on a temporary basis. And their classrooms could be used for storage. Okay. When is that going to be finalized? Well, whenever we get the okay from you to move forward with this project. Maybe we'll get a day. Well, that's, that's why we're not a hundred. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's not a. Yeah. Yeah, I understand the practical concern, but that's not a zoning issue. Yeah. If we go yeah. by the zoning bylaw, we're we're just looking at a project. Okay. Yeah. 
you keep talking like that, we're going to be standing outside in the snow before we find out. You have plenty of room in your car. You got a nice big car. We can all sit and fit in there. <laughs> hey, Johnny, you can cool down a little bit. Listen, I got a question. Sure. Um, throughout this, you guys are asking for timelines for the library again. It sounds to me, and I've been asked this question a bunch of times. Is the planning board just jerking everybody around here, and are they going to delay this even further, or what? I want the, the public wants an honest answer from this job. We're going to play the same game you do. Do I'm not playing any games. I'm asking you a question. Well, well let, let if you me, can't answer it. Let me answer. Maybe you should withdraw yourself from this board and your decision. Maybe you should. The uh, gentlemen. The reason we are talking about timelines tonight is that the library did provide us with timelines today, and the issue uh, certainly an issue for us as to how the timelines merge. Um, I think we've all resolved the issue that no, the library grant is not in danger because if things don't go in sequence, there are fast track options. And we've got get, all, so that, we've take built, that off the table. Now we don't have to worry about that. We've got all the that. calculations that we met as of right now. As soon as we get to the plan, there should be no more questions. If the you plans, it time and time again, I, I'll tell some of your meetings. I'll tell you that if the plan complies with zoning, that removes all issues as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I was willing to bend a little bit with the Dover Amendment, uh, which I thought was a promising way of uh, addressing things, but uh, that was not to be. So uh, here we are, we get a plan that complies with zoning, we should have no trouble approving it. Yeah, John, if you want to look at where the delays happen, it happened when uh, the senior, Center, senior citizen building committee got its own lawyer, and that's where the problem started, okay? So I'll, 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 I, will, I will disagree with you on that, Mike. I well, think that when they had a lawyer who was experienced with development and working with planning boards, I think the, uh, I mean, the issues that, became a lot clearer. That's the point, Bill. And I'm they, trying to make that, that yep. particular person has been in front of this board quite often. I agree. <laughs> so if we, if we get to the before there is enough blame to go around. And I don't think we should start focusing on that. If you're looking for answers, the I have, elder, the I have elderly, seven or eight the answers. The elderly are getting nowhere with you folks, and they're starting to okay. dump on us, well, Joe. Let me just give step one. Okay, let so me, I want some wait, answers wait, wait, from wait, you guys on how you Trump come to these decisions. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Step step let's you let's, 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 let's stop, stop. They should jump on you, because that's where the hell it started. They came in. What a petition. The library did the right thing. They hired the architect, came in with a preliminary plan. You guys sat on the stage. You, Molly, and Joyce, you sat there. These two new select when they knew they weren't there. You didn't say, well, let's let's hire an architect, do a preliminary plan, let's get all the town boards together to get their input. You didn't do that. You 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 appointed a committee okay. that okay. weren't even in, they're, what, yeah, they they weren't they're even devils. experienced yeah. to do what they're doing. And that's okay. your opinion. And so you're pointing yeah. a finger, go yeah. look in a mirror. Yeah. So no. That's who the hell you want to point to. So, I think, I think, so can we get back on yeah. the timeline yes, yes. here? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Rather, 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 rather than place and blame, I think Molly put it very exquisitely <laughs> in one of our meetings where she says this process for the projects was not a model of how projects should be run. And let's leave it at that, because I think everybody's concerned. Right. There is enough blame to go around with everybody, and we learned a lot. From town meeting to select board to planning board to others, to building committees. So let's just move forward and stop trying to place the blame and everything else. If you can't take the heat, you shouldn't be elected because you're going to get lots of heat from a lot of things. So if the heat bothers you, I'm, not. I'm my, sorry. My question was, you're looking at the timeline from the library. Yes. Do you plan on extending this out again? Yes or no? Very simple question. 
No, Depends on the drawings, okay? If they comply to Where's the drawings, plans? I've already told you that. If the drawings comply, then it's then it's a moot point. Okay? So we have you're asking a question we can't ask because we haven't seen the drawings. So we already said that. Yes. What we would like them to do, and I've just talked to Phil, we want to get you the plans two weeks prior to the November 20th meeting so that you have time to review them. He can get you that paragraph that you need um, to make us in compliance. And then hopefully on the 20th, there can be a vote taken for us to move forward with the project. The, the, the only question I would have to that one comment you made is, why would it take six weeks to get us those plans? Well, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm I mean, just, I, 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 I know, I, I'm, I'm putting words, I'm, 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 yeah. you're, you're, you're putting words in your mouth, I'm putting words in yours. Right. Let's not put timeline, time, okay. time dates on this. As soon as you have drawings that we can review, okay. be it whatever, Get them to the planning board, please. Okay, yep. you don't need to, uh, um, what you call it, come to them, you know, you can, like I said, you can email or just drop them off at the meeting. Do we need to have another date with you prior to the November 20th um, and hold out the November 20th as a drop dead vote date? Like that. Vote date. When, when they drop the drawings off, yep. let us look at them. Yep. If, let, you know, maybe that November 20th meeting can be moved forward. Well, no, uh, only very short, very little, because the uh, there's an election. The second Tuesday, uh, or the first first Tuesday okay. is an election oh, day right. this we year. We can't, we can't, can't hold public hearings. Well, we can hold a special meeting if we had to, if it's earlier, okay? Because like on election day, it's illegal for us to make a decision. We can have a meeting, we just can't make any decision. How are you even decision. saying that? No, we, we can't have a public hearing. You don't know hearing. when those final plans are going to be completed. That's right. That's what I'm saying. That's what we're saying also. But let's, we'll, let's see what they look like as soon as possible. Yeah, we'll, we'll take any, you know, you can just loop us into the same distribution list you're using with the building committee. I'm assuming you're not going to wait you, you, you know, if, we don't care what the interior looks like. Understood. So as soon as your footprint is set, okay. we can, you can share that with us. Right. I'll tell you guys right now, if that library was up tonight to vote, I would vote for that library. For the simple fact is, they did things the way they were supposed to. But I have no problem at all with that. None. Speaking of the library, um, in terms of these plans, I'm imagining that, again, once the, the draft is redone, the OPM from the library is going to be taking a look as well in case there's any impact on uh, the green space, right, Phil? Yep. So are you going to require any sort of sign-off from, when it, you know, when it comes to you? Who's, you the, OP, to who's the OPM for the library? Okay. Just, just, just talking about delays a little bit. Uh, you know, yeah. Tom Brady, bless us, I, I give him my, my uh, heirloom tomatoes every year. That's another story. He should have come to us and said, what if I proposed an amendment of the, under the Dover Act? What if, what if I propose a waiver? And he should have come and talked to us. And he would have, he's asked for straw votes all along. If he had come to us and asked us, he would have known what the story was. Okay. But rather than doing it, he laid it on us. And this causes the delay, excuse me. Okay, then back to the, what was the question of the library, Molly? Yeah, so I'm just wondering, um, again, we want to make sure the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. So um, given the fact that it's going to be a modified site plan from what you've seen before because of the reduction in the size of the building. Yeah, I wouldn't submit anything until I got it. the library's blessing. Right. The two so, teams have been working, yeah. and the two design teams have been working together right. all along. But the library isn't. The footprint of the library didn't change beyond what you recently made it a smidgen smaller. Correct. So, you know, basically the, the, the building you showed us and the footprint you showed us is what is going to be built. And Correct. the drainage has already been reviewed. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. Right. So the only drainage that might be at, at issue is towards the rear, toward the senior center. But the front portion for the entire library, that is pretty much in line right. and okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm just imagining that we'll want to make sure that the library is represented in case any questions come I mean, up. Any plan you submit should be, again, a cohesive a plan of both building and stuff, but if you already got 50% of it isn't changing, it's only the other 
portion you could worry about. So over the past couple of weeks, there's been a lot of iterations done. So I, I am going to go through the library to make sure we have a site plan that both projects agree with. Mm -hmm. And yep. that's what we'll yep. you know, this, this is the cause. Because you've done so much, just make sure what you show us is what they have, too. So that yep. we like all of a sudden, if something will be different, that's all. That's what you're doing the right thing. Yep. Okay. Yes. I did call to order the Municipal Building Committee uh, that they, they did have a quorum. So I, I just wanted to confirm with you, it sounds like we're we're getting uh, on the same page about the parking. That's great, right? Um, the site plan approval has a more lengthy checklist. I've heard dissenting arguments in previous meetings about snow storage, walkability, compliance with a long range plan, landscaping, lighting, dark sky compliance, drainage of, a, of adjacent basements, the Goodwin parking, swing space. I mean, I think we're getting closer, but, but what is to say that we're not going to get to November and we're going to have more of these issues? I think that OPMs and the designers have done the best they can to, to accommodate some of your requests, um, and I think we're very close. But what else do we need to prepare for? that we can gain everyone's vote on this project and get a, a clear consensus. So let's go down that list again. Well, I, I just made a note of from from memory, uh, Mr. Right. Dwyer, but yeah. snow storage was something brought up by Mr. Michkowski. Uh I heard you in particular discuss walkability at one meeting uh, relative to the, to the two buildings and compliance to the long range Plan. So that's that will not be an issue. Well, it it will be a comment, but it will not be an issue. Compliance with the long range plan is not at this time uh, a prerequisite. Uh, there is pending legislation that would make compliance with the long range plan a requirement of a project approval, but it is not mandatory at this point. And perhaps somewhat object to subjective also. It's not mandatory at this <laughs> okay. point. Understood. Uh, landscaping, uh, the shrubbery on the north border was something that was concerned at one point, probably resolved in the, in the plan. I believe, I believe that's been addressed. That was so. It's, it, is, it is being addressed, put it that way. Selection of light fixtures, dark sky compliance, all of that. I, think, I think we they, have that one checked. Yeah, they, 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 they addressed that. Uh, drainage of adjacent basements, uh, adjacent properties. That, that was addressed um, with the okay the mounding analysis. With the mounding analysis, that was an excellent presentation. Emergency access uh, through the uh, the Legion property. That's been that, that being taken and care of. And yeah, gate. Yeah, that okay. That, that, um, you can show us a plan that says you are going to use emergency access through there, but. Any approval is going to be conditioned on your having the easements that you need. So you're either going to use the existing right of way. If you're going to use, if you plan to use a different part of the right of way, it's on you to get an easement. And if we approve it, showing you using an easement that you can't get, uh, yeah, there will that will be a delay. Uh, Goodwin parking. Uh, the potential for the reuse of the good one as an that, alternate. That's a concern, but it is unfortunate, but it is not part of the property okay. and the project. So even though it is a valid concern by a lot of people, it, it's out of the jurisdiction of the project. Fair enough. And, and the second, the last was the swing space, which is, I believe, the same, same idea that it's not right. part of this. Okay. Others that I missed? I'm, you were all at the meetings. Nope. <laughs> Good okay, so I'm just, I just did not, I didn't get your words down for the fifth one. Between basement flooding and Goodwin future parking, what was your? Swing space? No, it's the. Walkability? Well, uh, no, the, when the basement flooding, we took care of that with the mounding. You know, what was emergency the, access. Emergency access, yeah, okay. Anybody else with a comment, question, concern? Yes? How much is the cost of developing these new plans? 
Bill, do you have any idea of this new version, what yeah. it's going to cost? So right now we have a proposal um, for a conceptual design phase, so essentially the initial design phase of understanding what happens to the floor plan and site plan, um, that's a not to exceed of $37,300. So that's, you know, approximately, say, a third of what the architect's initial schematic design phase, which is the first phase of design, um, that's like a third of that cost. Um, so once we get past that point, and, and we're, um, we're at a point where the committee votes and approves on what happens to the floor plan and site plan, we'll get into revising the bid set. And so we don't have that proposal yet, so I don't know what that is. The architect made a fatal misjudgment thinking that somehow this plan did not have to follow zoning. And I don't know why he did that, but he did it. So perhaps you could talk to him about whether or not there, there's some way you could split the cost or something, because I think it was a serious, serious error on his part. And what was your part? Weren't you supposed to Let's not get advise these tonight. people? That's I'm that's talking that's to him. That's he's on the so I don't have a comment to that question. No comment. no comment. No comment. No comment. Good. When it comes to vote, I got no comment. Okay. Here we go. Check. <coughs> uh, anything I, I else? I forgot to bring up the roof and my understanding is the library or the senior center is uh, gone with an asphalt roof, so that's no longer an issue for this project. There is an article for fall town meeting to go back to to allow metal roofs. At one point, you said it was too late in the process to in, to wait to incorporate such, but now. Is it still too late? I wouldn't recommend it because budget concerns. Okay. Why? Is it more money? Yes. And I'd like to note too that the select board needs to vote on these changes tonight. Yes. On accepting those changes. Mm -hmm. What changes? To the thirty-seven thousand three hundred dollars. Oh, 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 on the building change of the cost and yeah. stuff We're like that. Do that okay. after the Okay. You know, my comment on, on the metal roofs, I have absolutely no problem with a standing steam roof. None at all. I think they, they look good. Their longevity for them. Yeah, life expectancy is a lot longer. And I have no problem with those. Mr. Michkowski's opinion. Right. That's right. That's what I said. Yep. Um, anything else? I believe else? I'm agreeing with you, John. <laughs> 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 Not so long. We've noted that. <laughs> hey. mm -hmm. Anything else? No. I think okay. We are going to continue our meeting, but. Okay. okay. So, I, I, if, if I could respond to one comment that John uh, Washkevitz made <clears throat> about what the seniors are looking for, I do want to remind everyone that every single member of this board qualifies as a senior citizen. We are all eligible for the full services of the Future Senior Center. I'm not too far behind you. So um, you know, I don't want there to be any suggestion that uh, somehow we are anti-senior. We, we are them. We were just at a workshop at Holy Cross, Michael and myself, and it was brought out that uh, over 60, there's more people over 60 than under 20. That in this area. Just as a comment to that, also, what Mr. Dwyer just said, and Mr. Neihart can confirm this one that when there was some, the planning board had the idea opportunity to put all kinds of delays in the project. When there was some legal notices put in about the zoning variance for the metal seam roof, and the planning board notif notified the zoning board and Mr. Neihardt about the incorrect publications in the newspaper. And they addressed it by republishing and reholding the hearing, which eventually was dropped. However, just so that you'll know, the uh, an appeal of a zoning decision is 20 days after the filing of the appeal. The appeal of a incorrect procedure is two years, I believe, 
from the date of publication or after the 30 days after the, after the issuance of the building permit. In any case, that could cause a horrendous problem um, with that kind of a thing. And, you know, we want to make sure the notices were correct. And it was correct that everything was there. So, you know, the opportunity was there. The plan board really wanted to pull a delay on this, and that was not our intention, nor is it. So, of course not. Um, it's my belief that now that we got the Dover Amendment there, say that, say that word, Dover Amendment, behind us, this thing's going to move forward quickly. The, uh, so you're going to continue your meeting. The planning board will adjourn. Do you have anything else? Just one quick thing before you do that, Jimmy. Sure. Um, just from a communication standpoint, um, could we just ask, and I'm thinking probably between the chairs, if you know, you're on your way home and you think, oh my gosh, I forgot about something, any, any planning board member, or even after the first iteration of plans comes to you that are in draft form, um, could we try to make sure maybe people could agree to get any comments to you and then you would get it to Joyce uh, and say with our select board that we would, to try to get the chairs, yeah. just okay. to make sure that we capture everything so they're not straight pieces of information around. Yeah, as long as they reply individually, because we don't want to violate the open meeting law by going through email, texts, or anything like that. We've got to make sure that we're on the up and up with right. that. Right. So, actually, Molly, you're the liaison for town hall departments. Yeah. Are you not? So would it be would it be a quicker turnaround? Because I know you, Joyce, you don't have full access to email at work. I'm imagining. Uh, so would it be quicker turnaround if we funneled through Molly? I, I have access to my email at work. Yeah. But oh, you do. Okay. You, you have a yeah. you have a phone that'll accept text, right? Okay. So everybody, this is this is Joyce's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Put it out. Put it out of here. Put it on here. Go ahead. You're the chairman of the board. Put it on here. I, I have no problem with that. Right. If it's okay. something that's time sensitive and you don't hear from Joyce, call me and I'll drive over. Okay. <laughs> I think some of the planning board members have my phone number. Correct. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think we could probably agree that uh, yeah, just for for communications efficiency, I think if you were to communicate with either Jim or me, and we were to communicate with either Molly or Joyce, we avoid getting into any public meeting issues. Right. Um, just have to be careful. What when I when I get something in from, for example, when Allison's timeline came in today, it came to me as the planning board email. I just forwarded it to everyone without comment, which is um, I, which I think is appropriate. Yes. Um, I did print those off too. I have those. So some of it is just, uh, we may be overworking it, but in case there is an issue, a serious issue, you know, we're, we're, we're each other's backups. I certainly don't, I, I certainly want us to be in good communication, so whichever works for everybody is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Paul no mentioned at the last meeting Too that there was a miscommunication right problem. We certainly don't want that coming yeah. forward. Okay. One, one person oh, has to speak for really each board. Maybe a second. We're not supposed person. to take up. I, I, I'm not posted for any other but uh, business. But um, I did get an email that uh, our payroll is due. I put that in the mailbox two weeks when you were out. We signed at the we signed at the meeting. When you were out, put it in the, in the mailbox that night. Like, God, somebody's getting paid for this. Okay. Oh you guys don't do nothing. So that way. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It, it is it is unaccounted for. When you start so, working, uh, you get paid. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make a motion to authorize uh, the chairman to uh, reapprove the payroll. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor? I will donate my net to the uh, senior citizen fund. Mm -hmm. any, any opposed? Motion passes unanimous. Five to one. Doing no, we just want to make sure the payroll goes through. Okay. Motion to adjourn. So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Planning board is done, and the selectmen will continue. Thank you. I have a nice, 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 nice
Okay. Big John, come into my office. some conversation or concern about the the architect and having to go back out. I mean, we're good to just go ahead and do the change order now. It's still within their time frame or whatever. They have until, it's in December that his time frame is up so that we would. No, that's, that's, that's OPM. OPM. That's OPM. That's no, OPM. There's no issue yeah. with the architect in time frame. Okay. okay. But can we move this as fast as we can? Yes. That's, yeah, on. that's the goal. Yeah, if we can approve this tonight, we're going to meet next. Tuesday, Tuesday at 4 p.m. 4 o'clock okay. to yeah, kick David everything off. Can I ask a question by then? Go yeah, ahead. we've got something in the works. Bill, okay. so just to clarify, is that fee for uh, the final design all the way to bid documents, or is that an interim fee just to correct the plans to get it to that That's a conceptual level. design. So there will be another fee. There will be another proposal. fee yeah. to revise the bid docs. Right. Well, we didn't think it was going to be that cheap, David, did you? <laughs> just so <laughs> everyone was clear. <laughs> I wanted to make sure you knew what you were voting on and not, yeah. not just, uh, you know. I think this right. is just a, a bridge. Thank you. But until we have a design, we don't know what's going to be involved in the document. Right. That's right. okay. We just need to do it. So This is the first hurdle we need to yep. cross. Yeah, we're working on it as yep. fast as we can. Yep. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay. One more thing, too, is Collier's needs their contract is up in December. Mm -hmm. And we need to renew starting in January to go to April of 2020. So I don't know. I can make a motion tonight that we vote on extending that contract, or we can table that to another Next time. Meeting. Next meeting. It's up to you guys. Yeah. 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 OK. So David would be yeah. here. It's in that. It's in that. I don't have any documentation. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a proposal. OK. If you could okay. do that, that'd yep. be great. Thank you. Yeah. And then I thought well, we should take easier. that up sooner rather than mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd like to get it yeah. done, but I think I, can, I said that we would put it on the next agenda. Yeah. Yeah. And that's fine. It, is that your contract for both the, for the overall OPM services, including the fire substation? No. It's just it's for the senior, senior center. center. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So that'll be October 3rd. That'll be October 3rd. And we do have a sub-fire station uh, committee presentation on uh, Thursday night at 6 o'clock at the Public Safety Complex for those that would like to look at the 
design of the um, substation that will be built in North Hadley. So if anybody's interested to come and look at those designs, we're more than happy to have you. And if you don't want to look at that, you can go to Meet Tierra and <laughs> spell. Or you could do <laughs> both. Or you could do both. You <laughs> go to the <laughs> safety center and then go get a margarita at uh, Meet Tierra. Enjoy the spelling bee. Mm -hmm. And then get your flu shot at the senior center on October 17th from 9 to 11 a.m. Bring your insurance cards. All right. Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. See you next week, October 3rd. Thank you all.